In this problem, I'm asked to solve the inequality and then write the answer in interval notation. Let's look at this inequality. We have a negative 4 times a quantity of n plus 4, and that's less than or equal to a negative 6n plus 16. There are several ways that I can solve this inequality. One way that I could solve this inequality is to distribute my negative 4 over addition. Therefore, I would have a negative 4n minus 16 is less than or equal to a negative 6n plus 16. My next step would be to isolate my variable on one side of the inequality. I could add 16 to both sides of my inequality, resulting in a negative 4n is less than or equal to a negative 6n plus 32. Now I could add, a add 6n to both sides of my inequality, giving me 2n is less than or equal to 32. Finally, I could divide both sides by 2 giving me that 2 divided by 2 makes 1, so n is less than or equal to 32 divided by 2, or 16. Therefore, any value of n less than or equal to 16 should satisfy our inequality. We could check by picking any value less than or equal to 16. For example, if I chose n equal to 0, I could substitute this back into my original inequality to verify I have a true statement. Therefore, negative 4 times 0 plus 4, we want to know if that is a less than or equal to a negative 6 times 0 plus 16. Well, let's check. 0 plus 4 is 4. Multiply that by a negative 4 is a negative 16. On the right-hand side, we have negative 6 times 0, which is 0, plus 16, which is equal to a positive 16. And indeed, a negative 16 is less than or equal to a positive 16. This is one way that I could solve the problem. Another way that I could solve this task is to recognize that I have a negative 4 times a quantity of n plus 4. Therefore, I could have started off with dividing both sides of my inequality by a negative 4. Since I'm dividing by a negative 4, I would reverse the inequality. Therefore, I'd have n plus 4 is greater than or equal to a negative 6n plus 16, all divided by a negative 4. We could simplify the right-hand side. We know that negative 6n plus 16 all over four, negative 4 is the same as a negative 6n divided by a negative 4 plus 16 divided by a negative 4. Negative 6n divided by 4 is the same as 3 halves n and 16 divided by negative 4 is a negative 4, giving us our right-hand side of the inequality to be the same as 3 halves n minus 4. Now I could go ahead and isolate my variable on one side of the inequality. I could add 4 to both sides, giving us n plus 8, is greater than or equal to 3 halves n. Next, I could subtract n from both sides of my inequality, giving me 8 is greater than or equal to 3 halves n minus n. 3 halves n minus n is equal to 1 half n. Therefore, I have 8 is greater than or equal to 1 half n. 
In order to isolate my variable n, I could multiply both sides by 2. 1 half times 2 is 1, so this tells me that n is less than or equal to 8 times 2, which is 16. I could rewrite this as n is less than or equal to 16, which is the same as the solution before. Now all I have to do is translate this into interval notation. I know that n is less than or equal to 16, so my interval notation would go from minus infinity all the way up to and including 16.